So the nature of the game of life, I want to call it a game because life is quite serious, it involves all of our existence. But let's just call it a game for now. The nature of the, um, the game of life is changing completely. With going from a game to very serious, right? Because life is not a game, as I said. You can't play around with um, people's feelings and so forth and so on because this is people's existence that you're playing games with, that you're messing with. So what I see happening is um, basically all the people that believe in God however that may be, and have good morals uh, and good karma because of those good morals. So just being a good person, only sending um, good, you know, vibrations to people and so forth and so on, and cleansing and neutralizing any fear and negativity in your life. So the true hearts, the people who are able to see that life is not a game, uh, will start succeeding in life. And the reason for that is because the energy of everything has changed completely and everything is based on energy so the people that are connecting to the energy of god and the energy of this infinite connected divine purpose of god and your own purpose because your purpose your true purpose is connected to that you're in direct alignment with your spirit and your soul and so when you're in a direct alignment with your spirit and your soul in this time now and going forward forever um, you will succeed and prosper in what it is that your heart wants to do. And that could be absolutely anything, with any, without any judgment, without you know, anything imposed upon that. It could be anything. But whatever your soul or spirit feels is the right thing for you and the right place to be in at whatever current time, is where you'll be. So it's part of that trust process and that faith process. And that divine timing. Because it's always divine timing at play. Like divine timing is always occurring in our life. It's bringing us this, it's bringing us that. It's bringing us this, that, that, this. So basically, um, when we can just learn to trust that process and trust God and trust ourselves and our spirit, because our spirit's connected to the great spirit of all and what's happening through this evolutionary process that's all raising us that have bothered to connect to that it's raising us it's protecting us it's keeping us safe it's building us up it's healing us and it's also um within us giving us faith strong solid foundation of faith within inside of ourselves and that ultimately um now is the operating energy the operating frequency i call it the divine operating system um dos dos and uh, I feel like that's being activated across the world. So it feels very, quite weird to everyone. Because not everyone is connected to that energy or has bothered to connect to that energy. Or to heal themselves or to correct their behavior or to heal their energy field. So. I believe everything that people have been sending out is what comes back now. That's the season we're in. Right, so if you've had good intentions for Earth, you've been focusing on the truth. Like this is your energy field, right? Over here. And the polarity. And then over there, this energy is coming towards you and going away from you. So when you connect to the energy of God, you're in like the divine tapestry. You're in the divine web. I'm just coming up with words, right? to try to explain this visualization of this reality that I have. And when you're in that flow, that divine flow, that divine picture, your peace, your ripple, your water droplet stays perfectly in place and is perfectly safe. So everyone that is bothered uh, healing their foundation right now, and through this huge change we're going through here on Earth, they will have a strong foundation, their energy. It may also feel a bit intense going through such new energies or whatever the case may be, and it may feel a bit weird. But at the end of the day, um, you're, it's part of the process. Okay, it's like we're shedding that old skin. It's like, it's a birthing process. It's like we're being reborn, basically. So your psychology and your spirit and your energy will, would go through an intense process. 
for everything old to fall away and crumble for the new foundation to be set for this new life it is that we're walking into so people who are still uh, insincere towards himself and others people who um, are lying to themselves others or are fake or whatever the case may be um, and not accepting the truth of reality that we're all connected that um, everyone's feelings matter because it's all about existence at stake um, so those people will go down and the people that you wouldn't usually expect to be up will go up basically and I also predicted this 10 years ago and it turns out I'm right but this is this weird sort of transitionary limbo phase we're going into because the matrix is crumbling and as the matrix is crumbling those people that have set solid foundations within themselves are the strong ones that will prosper in this time continually that's my message for today so I would recommend working on yourself, working on your energies, neutralizing any negative energies within yourself towards other people, towards old past events, and towards whatever the case may be. Because those are old energies, you don't need to hold on to those old energies anymore, they don't have place on this new earth. Energies of, you know, hurt and betrayal and whatever the case may be. Because we're moving into a completely new reality that that doesn't support that at all and this is why the matrix is crumbling because the matrix supports that narcissistic sort of like behavior and mindset so now spirit is coming forward in this reconciliation between spirit and flesh and those that are bothered to connect to their spirits and when you connect to spirit you'll inevitably find god right if you're doing it correctly those that claim to and haven't found god have are not doing it correctly that's what i strongly believe strongly so I just say, if you've been focusing on that and you're that type of person that I just described who looks at life that way, then congratulations, all your work has not been in vain. Every single little bit of effort that you put in uh, comes out and it has long lasting effects because a strong foundation aims for a strong eternal future. Thanks, guys. If you like this video, click like, click subscribe, and head on over to Patreon for exclusive content on my private blog for as little as a dollar. Thank you.